Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gas and convert them to electric. Let's get up to date for the things that happened this week. So of course we got the Frontier running. Uh, we got the motor tested, the battery tested, everything was tested on the chassis. So now we're turning our attention full time to the battery pack itself. Um, so I've got it kind of disassembled. Uh, this is one half of the battery. So these are 12 modules here, um, 10 on the bottom and then two on top. So this is a different configuration than is in the Nissan Leaf, but basically I'll have two of these guys, one on the left of the drive shaft and one on the right of the drive shaft. Uh, these are some loose modules over here and um, these are the plates and screws that are used to compress them because these modules are pouch lithium cells, uh, pouch types, so they need to be compressed when you use them, otherwise they'll just expand and expand and they'll eventually be ruined. Um, so these are all being compressed about the stock uh, amount. I measured um, how much they were being compressed and then tightened these up so that they're the same. And this plate here on top is squeezing these plates down. So I have the end plates which are squeezing the main pack and uh, there's four bolts that hold it together. And then I welded um, this plate onto a little bracket here which bolts on this end and it welds on this end and then this plate goes across the top here it's actually this piece right here and that's what these cells uh, these modules bolt to so this is out of the Nissan Leaf pack and uh, I'm just repurposing it for this new configuration so that's really sturdy uh, these are now not going anywhere they're all compressed um, like I said this is half of the battery so this one will fit on one side of the drive shaft and then I'll build another one for the other drive shaft, other side of the drive shaft. Then this is the contactors and the connector for the main high voltage battery, the connector for the high voltage heater. And this round plug holds the BMS, um, all the CAN bus and the other smaller wires for that. So uh, this is your main high voltage, uh, positive and negative. You have your contactors, one's for positive, one's for negative. You have the pre-charge relay and you have the smaller activation relay and um, this is the high voltage fuse for the whole vehicle. So this then needs to be inserted in one half of the battery box and uh, basically now have two separate battery boxes which will be connected with um, some conduit or something like that. And um, I think that's just the best way to go about it. So this whole thing will be covered in aluminum. Um, panels to encase it secure it and hold it so that's what i'm designing on the computer next but um yeah like i said this is definitely the hardest part of the entire build um, coming up with the new shape the battery's going to live in making sure that you account for the compression of the modules um, of course we're going to have to wire in the bms so all the cells are correctly connected to the bms and we have to of course have the high voltage uh, emergency or service disconnect. We have to have the high voltage fuse. We have to have the contactors, all the plugs. Um, we have to have all of that stuff. So just a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get through it. And uh, this part is really fun because it lets your the creative side of your mind work. Um, we get to think about the puzzles and where you, how you're gonna shape all the modules to make them fit in the vehicle. So some smaller things. Um, we got these two uh, silicone tubes, one's a 90 and one straight. And these are great because they're gonna allow us to adapt the radiator here from the frontier. You can see these just fit right on there, perfect. So the top one uh, is gonna go down to the motor and the bottom one down here is gonna come up here to the reservoir. And these are silicone so I can trim them to the right length and everything I need there. And it'll adapt us to this smaller hose. So all the small things are coming together. Uh, just the final stages of this build. Um, thanks again for watching. As soon as the Frontier is done and rolling under its own power, we're gonna be re uh, returning full time to the 69 Land Cruiser. I've got some real big updates. I can't wait to share on that. So thanks again for watching EV Swap. We'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and let your friends know if you think that they're going to like this content. Thanks for watching.